ladies right there. shopping folks every time I see my black ass out here sitting I start thinking about fishing I mean that's the only way I can uh, there ain't no other way to be. every time my black ass is out here sitting I start thinking about fishing so in the, in, in, if you saw the previous video okay I just want to say I'm hella proud of these these women right here. Here, let me show y'all these ladies real quick. You got you got two ladies right. Come on, man, I got all that. We got two ladies right here, y'all. Okay, one is running that. The other one is running that. If you look, well, you know, yeah, you look close, you should be able to see like a. Uh, they're behind that right now. They're doing um. I guess right now they're putting. They put an A in the in the in the, in the tires, man. But they right there by the death. Let me remove this damn thing, bye. But these women out here in the off you getting to the money. There you go. There's two of them. Both of them are driving that uh, Dora Hall XLS. Obviously, one of them is in this truck. The other one is is on the on the other truck. They getting few. Well, no, they're not getting fuel. This one, oh, and as if you notice, that trailer is loaded. Actually, both trailers are loaded. Just the second one has a net a covering. For some reason, this one doesn't. That's it's none of my damn business. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the point is, these ladies are out here getting to the bag in the oil field. They're getting to the bag in the oil field. I've been seeing a whole lot of women out here. A whole lot of women. I didn't know. You know anyways, it don't matter. They let them do their thing. But yeah, both of them driving the trucks. One driving that one. The other one driving this. But that's the way. That's the way. When there's money is somewhere, hey, people got to adjust. And I respect all the women out here doing a man's job. All the women out here doing a man's job, but that ain't what this video is about. DOT is out here in these streets trying to get the green to get in between. They are out here in these streets. Trying to get the green to get in between. 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Texas, all feel they're heavy out here. Um, I think I think they're going through that little, you know, the annual nonsense DOT spree or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they are here. They are here. Um, my understanding is, which is which is what I was trying to look for. We got a message from the Deadmore Plantation. You know what? Hold on. I'm a, I'm. A, the only thing is, I think it's on that phone. So technically, I, I'm not gonna be able. But anyways, I call into the Deadmore Plantation. Okay, they are here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, I think it's gonna last all the way till the the fourteen or whatever, like all week, all week, whatever today date is. It's going all week. Okay, if they hit you up for level one, I heard that they actually coming in the cab. They're switching the game up. Outside is no longer good enough. If your tires are good, everything running, they're like, well, damn. Let's go inside and see what they got going on in that slip man. You see, that's the part is not gonna work for me. No sir. I, I, I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing in there to hide, but your funky ass ain't about to come in my sleeper on the level one. So I don't know when they did that rule. I don't know when they switched that rule up. I didn't get a notification at all, but what I'm hearing is if they hit you for level one, they're gonna come in the cab. They're gonna come in the cab. And if that's the case, uh, let me know so I can piss in bottles and just leave it everywhere. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go, go to the dog park. And, and as soon as you pull me over, I'm putting dogs all over the place, all right? Because that's stupid. I'm over exaggerating, folks, but the point is that I'm not gonna be cool with that. Ain't nobody about to come in my truck like that. The outside cool. What's inside my truck does not create a safety hazard on the road. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, there's no explanation that's gonna be able to be given to me for them to justify as to why it's necessary for them to come in my truck. But yeah, according to the Denmark Plantation, once again, let me let me see if I can find this thing. Let me see here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so uh, okay, according to the Demo Plantation, uh, Mr. Watson's people, okay, um, DPS and Upton County Sheriffs are pulling over trucks left and right. They're trying to get the green to get in between. Okay, so that's an inspection of the main reasons they are behind uh, doing inspection. Main reason they are be being pulled over is trucks are dirty and can uh, trucks are dirty and can reflective tips cannot be seen and license plates are covered in mud and dirt. Need to make sure our drivers on Apache have done good pre-trips. Talk to sheriff's deputies. They will be doing this for the rest of the week. Now that's just us out here, okay? That, that, the reason why those, uh, the reason why Demo Plantation send a specific kind of because that's where this well that I'm waiting on is gonna be at, okay? That's pretty much what it is. But for the rest of the week, bro, I've, I've talked to, uh, I've seen uh, OTR drivers complaining about it too. So they are here. They are here. They are here. Yeah, they're trying to get it in too. They're trying to, the man with a pen is trying to get it in. Get the green, get in between. Uh, it rained yesterday, it rained like two days ago. All damn trucks are going to be dirty. It's all filled, dust every damn well. Least roads everywhere. So their excuse for trying to pull your ass over is pretty much all possible scenarios that can come up when it rain or when you are in a dirt environment or whatever. So pretty much they're just gonna be pulling over any damn truck. One of these reasons would be there. You know what I'm saying? 
like reflective it's not showing it's not that you don't have it it's there but maybe it's not reflecting in their eyes enough they're gonna be like oh, yeah 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 pull them over light them up light him up uh license plates are covered with mud oh wow it just rained it just rained mr officer it just rained the road I'm driving day in and day out is nothing but dirt. There's no tar. You, you, you put just rain and dirt and tar and no tar and dust equals to there got to be some mud on my plate, Mr. Officer. And it don't matter if I go wash it right now because in the next two loads, the same thing about to happen, Mr. Officer. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 what else? Okay. Reflect, uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, can be seen. License plates are covered with mud and dirt. Need to make sure that our, yeah, see, the demo plantation is saying, look, few Negroes, listen, why you couldn't cotton this plantation in an environment that you cannot control? We need to make sure you, you, you do good prayer trip. Okay, because good prayer trip is going to make sure that the, the reflective test ain't got mud on it or don't get mud on it. Is it going to make sure that the license plate don't, ain't going to get no mud on it? It, it? It's a losing battle. Long story short, drivers. When you're out there this week, they're coming for your ass. They're gunning, they're gunning for your ass, you two. That's all I'm saying. Y'all be careful out there. Um, as far as the other section where they're going to be coming inside the cab, that could be a speculation, but that's what I'm hearing. That if they hit you with a level one, you know, the biggest one, they ain't just going to stay outside. They're going to come in too. So if you got some condoms, uh, make sure you lay them down. I will intentionally lay them out, make them as uncomfortable as possible for them to not even go in my sleeper. Now, I can understand they need to look at logs sometime they come in. I understand that. But as far as what does what's inside my cab got to do with the road conditions or my equipment creating a hazard on the road? There's nothing, nothing, nothing whatsoever. Okay, so y'all be careful out there, man. Um, as far as me, I'm still waiting. We're still waiting for this well. The plantation went ahead and heat us up yesterday again. First, it was supposed to be Sunday. And then it was Monday. And then today is Tuesday. It was supposed to be this morning. But we got a notification that said, hey, they're still moving equipment. Um, things are still going slow. They ain't ready. So some of y'all may know or may not know, but based on the blogs, Every day we gunning out here, I try to do minimum of three. So the last two weeks or so, I be doing four loads a day. Each load is like 120, 130, right? So, right now me sitting, I don't give up a minimum $400 a day. So this is going to be day number three, because Sunday, Monday, today, Tuesday. So let's say 300 the minimum okay three times three that's damn that thousand dollars bro i don't give up a thousand dollars already just out here sitting out here now it happens it happens i'm not saying this it happens y'all it's part of the oil field we're at the mercy of the well but what i'm trying to say is uh we gotta, we got, we gotta do something. You feel me? We gotta, we gotta do something, man. They need to hurry up. They need to get this going, and uh, we need to get it moving. Cause uh, mama needs some shoes. Baby needs some food. And you understand? I, I gotta get paid to get laid. You too. 